Sairam everyone and welcome once again to Good Morning with Gayatri Mantra. We are in this beautiful sylvan gardens of the Prashant Nilam campus of Sri Satya Sai Institute of Higher Learning and with me is brother Bharadwaj who is pursuing his PhD in physics. Bharadwaj apart from being a keen academic, he is also someone who loves cricket and he has used the power of the Gayatri to reach great heights in his cricketing game. So let's begin with the cricket story, brother. Tell us how Gayatri empowered you to become better in your cricket. Om Shri Sairam. Uh, it was in my third UG uh, that I had this feeling of doing something and offering it to Swami. Uh, I'm not a singer to sing something and offer it to Swami. I'm not an artist to make cards and show it to Swami. So what I thought was, as a sports person, I should play cricket and win the match and offer it to Swami. Wow. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, I was uh, not in the house team okay. till my third UG. Okay. So uh, then I, I thought I'll give my name for the... Uh, team. So you played cricket in your school days. Yeah. But once yeah. you joined Brindavan, you I, didn't no. participate. No, uh, I have not in participated the matches. in the matches. Okay. So I I have given my name for the selections. Okay. Uh, but one day the captain of the house comes to my room, and he tells that you should prove your worth either with the bat or the ball okay. to be in the team. Because you have not played for the first two years. Yeah. And third year you want to be part of the team. Yeah. So. Uh, as part of my regular uh, sadhana, I used to do Sandhya Vandanam every day. So, I did this Gayatri Mantra and prayed to Mother Goddess that uh, today you are the one who is playing. I am not the one who is playing. You are the one who is playing through me. Uh, so, then something uh, terrific happens in the cricket field. Okay. I go to the practice match and I hit 58 runs without losing my wicket. Wow. And eventually... <laughs> and And... Uh, Eventually, I was taken into the team hmm. and we played the house match and we won the match and I offered it to Swami. Wow! <laughs> Made your dedication to Swami through cricket. <laughs> Fantastic. And, and uh, I had a similar experience after joining for my post-graduation in Prashant mm -hmm. I had a desire to score half-century mm -hmm. on the pitch where Sachin Tendulkar hit half-century. Oh, wow! 1997, in the, the Satisa Unity Cup. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, uh, in my second PG, uh, in, in the year 2016, on Jan 14th, uh, we played against Brindavan campus. So, as I entered the field to bat, I realized that probably this might be the last chance for me to score half century. As a student? As a student. Mm -hmm. So, what I did was, I kept on praying, I kept on chanting Gayatri Mantra. Mm -hmm. And then I scored 69 runs. 69 runs, again uh, half century and, and more. And, 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 <laughs> That point of time, my stamina was not really great. Uh -huh. So, I didn't run much. Mm -hmm. I scored, I hit 13 fours. 13 fours? <laughs> wow! And... Uh, Supercharged with the Gayatri. And, and, and I felt the power of Gayatri in the wow. field. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. You know, you are shining with cricketing brilliance. <laughs> <laughs> so, brother, t tell me, you know, where did this conviction come from that Gayatri can really take you anywhere? So, uh, being born in Swami Sai Devotee's family, my parents always used to insist on power of Gayatri. Okay. And after I got initiated into this mantra, I religiously uh, been doing this uh, Sandhya Vandanam. As a little one? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and then I, f I, I, I had this experience of uh, uh, experiencing power of Gayatri. Uh -huh. uh, and also, after joining in this institute, uh, Ashes sir in our UG, yes. he used to uh, motivate us to do this Gayatri sadhana more vigorously yes. by uh, sharing his experiences on the power of Gayatri. Yes. Uh, and then after joining in Prashant Nilayam, people like Silesh sir, mm -hmm. they used to insist a lot upon Gayatri mantra. Mm -hmm. So that motivated me to take this sadhana very seriously. So you had the teachers motivating you yes. and your parents had always encouraged you. But at the same time, did you experience any benefits also on your own? Was there any direct experience of what the Gayatri Mantra can do to you? Uh, Apart from the cricketing one, of course. Yeah. Uh, so, after I joined for my PhD uh, in the year 2016, 
I had given the responsibility of uh, taking care of uh, refilling the stock uh-huh. of Swami's food prasadam and also to distribute this prasadam to the remote villages uh-huh. where the trucks cannot go as part of Gram Seva. Gram Seva, yes, yes. Uh, from, uh, from the time I joined for my undergraduation in the year 2011 till 2015, I had been doing this uh, Durga Saptashati Parayanam yes. as part of Devi Navratri During the Dasara cele- celebration. Dasara celebration. Seven day yeah. chanting of yeah. the Devi Mahatmya. Yeah. But in the 2016, I was not able to manage to do both. Like to do the Devi Mahatmya Parayanam and then go, as to, well the as go to the villages. Yeah. And both happen simultaneously. Yeah. Yes. So that year I could not manage to do both. Okay. Because so, it needs so many hours, right? Yeah. Four or yeah. five hours yeah. to do Four the five. Devi Mahatmya? Yeah. Yes. So, uh, what I thought, I did this uh, seva, gram seva, uh, like with my uh, whole heart. Then again, uh, on the final day, uh, what I did was on the day of day of Vijay Dashmi. Yes. Uh, when the Purnahuti was happening in the Purnachandra Auditorium, I prayed to Swami and told Swami that Swami, I'm offering this seva uh, to you as I have been offering the Devi Mahatmyam okay. to you. So, I mean, this time I could not do the Parayanam, Parayanam. but I was, I was able to do Grama Seva. Grama Seva and the That offering. is my offering. Yeah. Mm. So, and that night, the day of Vijay Dashami, uh, something terrific happens. Oh. Uh, a mother, mother Goddess in the form of Gayatri uh-huh. comes into my dream uh-huh. as, as she was described in the Shastras. Uh-huh. Like, Mukta vidruma hemani na dhabala chayer mukais trikshanai yuktam indunipad dharat namakutam tatwar dhavarnat mikam gayatrim varada bhayam kushakasha shubharam kapalam gadam shankham chakra madhara vinda yugalam hastai vaham team bhaje. With all her five faces, wow. with all her effulgence, she comes in my dream. Shankha, chakra, lotus, padma, yeah. everything. Yeah, everything. Wow. And she gives me some personal instructions. And she, as she was extolled in the uh, Lalita Sahasranamam as uh, Sampradaya, Sampradaya Vardhini. So she tells me to keep the tuft, okay. to keep the shikha. The hair. Okay. hair. In the beautiful Telugu, she says, shikha pettuko, with all her five faces <laughs> wow. ordering, ordering at me at once. Wow. So uh, from then on, my, my conviction towards Gayatri got strengthened. Wow. And whenever I sit for meditating on Gayatri, I imagine the form, what she has given in the dream. And I was, I was practicing the, this sadhana of doing Gayatri Japa. Wow. I mean, you had the vision of the mother. And you know, on the time when you did service in the villages, Swami says, Grama Seva is Rama Seva. Yes. So here, you were feeling bad that I was not able to chant your names because I went to the villages to serve and here mother is telling that if you serve, I am even more happy. Yes. And she gave you the vision and at the same time, she is telling you that confirm to your traditions, right? Keep, yeah. That, yeah. keep that hair, that tuft of hair which is as per our Vedic tradition. Yes. It is there in your family probably, you know, yeah. she knows what is good for you. So, so you are with tradition at the same time you are going out and serving. Fantastic. Wow. And and what other ways, uh, brother, I mean, I think this is one of the most beautiful, perhaps, experiences of, of chanting the Gayatri Mantra. But uh, on, on a day-to-day basis, as you live in the hostel, as you live with all the boys, you know, uh, how do you feel the mother uh, in, in your everyday life? Uh, maybe, uh, probably, I should say that uh, I will not uh, fall ill to common infections mm-hmm. and uh, for the seasonal changes, mm-hmm. I can say that I'm a healthy person. So generally, you never fall ill. Generally, cold, not... cough, uh, no. throat infection, climate no. change, they don't affect no. you. The mother protects you. <laughs> mother protects me and uh, I'm very fortunate, I should say, I should mention that Swami has given the best of environments to yes. practice this Gayatri Mantra. Being in the hostel. Being in the hostel as well as he has uh, given the beautiful facilities to do research here. Yes, I mean you have the central instrumentation facility here. Yeah. So you are doing the best of research and to to grow as an academic, you have the best of sports facilities, sports you have facilities. the power of the Gayatri and you have the hostel and all the beautiful environment, all the boys, same wavelength, right? Yes. So you can practice your spiritual sadhana as well as excel in your academics. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Nothing. 
perhaps you can't think of some anything better your parents must be very happy for you yes. <laughs> beautiful brother anything you want to share uh, finally to all the brothers and to all the youngsters out there you know who think that you know i have to spend so much time every day gayatri chanting takes you know half an hour 45 minutes you spend every day right yeah. half an hour every yeah. morning probably half an hour half an 25 minutes to half an hour it takes and you're doing a research and yeah. doing a hostel duties yeah. and now yeah. you're uh, you have you also have uh, teacher duties now that yes. you've become a, a research scholar yes but still you make time for the gayatri yeah. chanting and you feel that is helping you in many ways yes. right yes. so it's 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 it is many times probably we will think that you know we are losing time we are actually gaining time isn't actually it actually we are investing time we are investing time yeah. and and we are uh, we are actually drawing Draw. the power of the divine yes for the little time that we give he is filling us with uh, double the energy to exactly. become a better instrument in his hand and to live up to what he wants us to be and to glow with the shine of gayatri thank you so much brother it's really lovely uh, listening to you and i'm sure this will help all the youngsters out there listening from a sai student straight from the heart thank you so much thank you thank you sai ram sai ram oh ತತ್ಸವಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯೀಮೀ ಧೀಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ತತ್ಸವಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯೀಮೀ ಧೀಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್ ಸವಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯೀಮೀ ಧೀಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾತ್